Hello my soccer universe, welcome to this, it's not an unpacking video, it's a reveal video and uh, just to give you a little preview of what is gonna come and then I tell you a story before I show you the shirts, but I'll show you the shirts from the back that I have in here. I'm wearing Argentina 2006, there are two more from a 2006 World Cup and we'll look at them in a little bit. However, why no unpacking video? And you have, if you've seen my Copa America uh, reviews, especially the last one, you have seen both of these jerseys already, uh, especially if you've seen the jersey reviews. Why so late? Well, I have shot an unpacking video, uh, it's not the beginning of the week, um, last week, uh, before the, I think both of the, uh, these shirts, the one arrived already um, early on Monday, I think or Tuesday of the week of the um, uh, semi final so before the Italy-Spain uh, game. And I was very happy because I could include it to in already one of my Copa America posts. And the other one arrived then on Thursday. So it was after the semifinals. Um, and I shot an uh, unpacking video, which for some reason I have deleted. I mean, yes, I record on my phone. So I usually delete very quickly. And since then I've been waiting to add something on and in all this process and cleaning up and uh, da, 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 I deleted the copy that I had on the computer as well. Yeah, bad luck. However, the, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Yes, they were interestingly packed, especially the yellow one came in uh, an LP box. Maybe I can show this even to you, just a sec came in such a nice <laughs> box and was in there. So I thought this was really, really interesting and sweetly done and would have made for a really nice uh, opening video. However, the jerseys themselves are nice enough. However, what I'm really, really uh, a little bit upset about is that on Wednesday, I had ordered a third shirt that would fit nicely in this category. Uh, I swiftly paid for it and so on and it has not arrived yet, although it should have been here. Usually if ships from Vienna should be here within two days. It's now uh, Tuesday, still not here and I'm a little bit worried. So um, I know that this video with all the Euro review videos that I'm planning to do, this video will not post until I think I've scheduled it now for Sunday. Uh, with some luck, at the end of this video, you might see a new shirt, probably not yet. I. I don't know, let's hope for the best. So there might be a third shirt, but at least I can show you two new ones because I finally want to get this out and to be able to post new shirts on Instagram as well because it's always a fun thing to do. So the first one that I got is um, the yellow one that was in this nice box. And you saw on the back, it's from 2006. It is the Ecuador home jersey and you know, the story was, it's my first one for Marathon, the story was that I was, uh, when I made my South America background, now it's all Europe, uh, it's okay, I realized, well, I have five South American nations, so I'm halfway there, let's quickly see what nations could I add rather quickly, and on this used jersey site, I, very, I, I didn't even expect, I put in Ecuador, I found this Ecuador jersey. Marathon in XXL. Now I assume that since Marathon is a uh, South American brand that the um, sizing will be rather tight and I was right. It is a little of a loose fit but it's, it's a good fit. It's not an XXL fit like if I would put an Adidas jersey. Uh, so I was very happy to get an Ecuador shirt and I think it was even 20 bucks or something like that. So a really 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 uh, good price. When I opened it, I was actually quite surprised. I mean, this Marathon, this is a Feldman material, but the crest, this was 2006. Do you see the shiny part under the F -E, um, FEF? This is what Puma did for the 2008 jersey. So I was rather surprised to see this already on the 2006 jersey. I love the counter up there, the new crest, I'm not so sure. I love the counter, although if you look closer, uh, the counter is a little bit more of a caricature than anything. Um, the asymmetric design is very much mid-2000s and then we have, of course, a little bit the other splash. But I like the splash of color. I think it's a really interesting jersey and Ecuador did quite well. They reached the next round um, in that one. Uh, I think they beat out Poland 
and that then enabled them to uh, play against England where they then lost uh, a game I think to a Beckham free kick where he had to throw up then afterwards and I can tell you a funny story about that because um, uh, on that very, very, very day my best friend who had married a Peruvian girl uh, she had her parents visiting and my parents said well let's invite him his wife and his parents and I remember uh, England was playing Ecuador, we were sitting in the garden and my father said, ah yeah, Ecuador, Ecuador is giving England uh, a really hard time and you know, um, you know, German, Spanish and uh, none spoke the other language so it was a lot of uh, hand um, pointing but it became pretty quickly clear, we don't like Ecuador and this is kind of my South American feel. South American nations do not like each other. And I know this from Peru, I think the only nation in Peru kind of is okay with is Argentina because they don't share a border. And don't even get me started on Chile. So that's kind of a memory that I have with that shirt. Uh, there's another interesting feature in that there's a kind of a dot pattern uh, all over on there. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up very well and probably if I don't have the light. Let's take the light off. I like good lighting, but maybe here, yes, now you can see the dot pattern a little bit better. So yeah, it's a really, really nice Ecuador shirt. I'm very happy to have got that. It's my first marathon shirt, which is an Ecuadorian per slash Peruvian per brand as far as far as I know. So this makes it even special. New brand added. The other one is of course a brand that I have many, many shirts of. And maybe let's keep the light off because there's also some interesting pattern on there. It's all from 2006 and it's also a South American shirt. You saw it already on the back. The front, Paraguay. This one was even cheaper. I found this one uh, for, I, th I think I paid a total of 11, including shipping for this one. So very happy with that. Um, and while it's now a little, a little bit darker, you will be able to see the typical thing is, maybe you've seen it on my Austria, the black shirt that hangs on there. Maybe I have to link, I have to link it. There is always this kind of pattern in uh, there. It's kind of a grass grassy pattern and then they used to put some um, other symbol of the team. Well, in this case, it's only the grassy pattern because it's the stripes. But what I like about this one is that the stripes continue to be vertically on the sleeves, which kind of makes it like this. It, it's a nonsensical pattern, but I always want to see a jersey do exactly that because um, just because, because always when you have a striped jersey, uh, if you have it on the sleeves and this one that, that, that doesn't have it, it goes in this way that when you stand like this, it all looks striped. No, and it actually is a pretty interesting and cool look, I have to say. Um, this is also now my first uh, replica version of this particular Puma template, which I always wanted to have. You know, I had this fake Italy jersey, which clearly the material was not right. Uh, when, when we look at it, it's what not that far off. It is a rather weird material. It still has this kind of plasticness to it, but um, it's much, much lighter than the, the, the fake I had. And then it has this arc here that is stretchy, which um, is this, uh, I compared the materials the same like this one. So uh, that at, at first made me a little bit, huh, is this right? But then, you know, I could authenticate it rather quickly. Um, and there is nothing that really suggests uh, that this might be uh, a fake. So I'm quite happy with that, having this Paraguay jersey. And anyway, who's going to fake a Paraguay jersey? Um, so there you go. As I said, it's a very interesting shirt. Uh, Paraguay is the only other striped team in the world other than Argentina. So this makes sense to have those two. They did all right in that World Cup. However, they were out after two rounds because they lost both England and Sweden. Uh, and then they had no chance anymore. Although I, I remember that they did actually quite well in these jerseys against England. So yeah, I'm very happy to add these two South American teams in there. The third jersey that I wanted to show you is not from a from a new South American team, so uh, let's keep count. What's missing is Chile, is Bolivia, and is Venezuela for me. Um, Chile has a really nice jersey right now, but given that I have such close ties with Peru and Chile is the mortal enemy, I am not sure if I can afford getting a Chile jersey. So um, that remains to be seen. Now, um, if I have the new shirt before this posts, it will follow right now.
Well, I want to hear what you think at least about these two jerseys. Um, give me, uh, let, let me know which South American countries you have and how many of the 10 do you already have. It's a rather reachable number as <laughs> in terms of having all uh, teams from a confederation. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. As I said, drop a line below, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!